March 16th, 2018. Sun finally popped out. It's kind of nice. It's been cloudy and pretty windy all day, except for earlier this morning. It was nice, but good. Glad to see the sun again. Getting some charge on the solar panels. Anyway, uh, been working on the venting system for the greenhouse for the upcoming hot weather or the spring-like weather where it goes from cold overnight to sudden high temperatures in here. Uh, the greenhouse hit 108 yesterday with the sun out before I got it open, so yeah, that kind of accelerated things. So, I basically built the base frame and uh, the venting panel. You can see I just took a 30-inch uh, a door and some 2x6 and a linear actuator I got out of a bed. One of those uh, hospital type beds where the um, feet and the head go up and down. And this linear actuator is 110 volt AC, 1.6 amps, claims it'll lift 700 pounds. So no problem moving this panel. I uh, finally just got the uh, brackets and hardware together. I managed to scrap uh, everything together for this project with the exception of the four bolts for bolting these brackets down. <laughs> it's amazing how expensive hardware is these days. Those bolts were like, uh, I don't know, with the washers I think they were like almost two dollars a piece. So, eh, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, the rest of it I scrapped together all for free. And I guess we'll just give you a little demonstration here. So I navigate my way past it. Um, and I guess I'll give you a better shot of it as well. You can see uh, that there's just uh, a hinge bracket up top and a hinge bracket on the bottom. And uh, originally when I tested this motor I thought it was only an inch and a half stroke. Uh, that was because it was actually down below the uh, the cutout switch on the bottom end. Once I came up past that I found it's actually a six inch stroke which works out really well. Um, with the leverage point I have set here, we obviously get a lot more than six inches of travel out of it, and that works out well. That's about the same uh, airspace, so to speak, or uh, square footage as the frame hole itself is, so we should be able to vent off heat pretty easily with that. And uh, eventually I'll add a second vent. I think I mentioned this in one of the previous videos, but I'll eventually add a second vent in here and that'll come open on the next uh, thermal setting and let fresh cool air in the bottom if necessary. Uh, that'll be dependent on outside temperatures and a bunch of other algorithmic code. I won't go into all of that right now. Right now I want to demonstrate this thing working so I will do that. Uh, I have it running. Uh, you see the extension cord is plugged in. Uh, runs over there. It is not hooked to the inverter at the moment but the inverter is on already. I sequenced it up before and uh, I will be plugging into the inverter directly just to prove proof the concept. Um, I was watching it on the wattage meters and uh, it's about 167 watts which is right around that 1.6 amp reading. So uh, without further ado I'll give a demonstration. Extension cord in my hands. We're going into the inverter. You can see she's going down. Like a charm. And then I'll give you the demonstration going the other way. I have to manually switch the wires right now. Uh, the relay will handle the normally open, normally closed state once it's connected to the Raspberry Pi for automation. Okay, this is the next test. We're going to go up. Uh, I'll go to the uh, wattage meter real quick just to show you the wattage consumption before we go to the up climb. Ready? Into the inverter. You can hear it running. You can see it's drawing about 150 some watts right now. That 150 some watts is because it's charging and the meter can't do both directions. Um, but up she goes. For some reason that kind of reminds me of NASA related stuff. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just really excited. I've been wanting to do this project for a long time now, probably three years, and uh, just never got around to it, and uh, hadn't figured out some of the automation parts of the pie, and hadn't figured out how I was going to do it up here. Uh, you can see I do have some other structural work to do up here. That whole frame has got to go up in uh, on this left side, right in here somewhere. Um, and I got to sure up this one, uh, this beam over on this side is a little weak. So I'm going to have to do something to sure that up. The ridge beam is solid, um, but uh, this thing, this frame is really heavy that wood sat out in the snow and moisture for, I don't know, six months or something. I, I should have stored it in the barn, but I'm trying to reorganize things around here. Anyway, I won't babble on. I just wanted to show you how that works and uh, give a quick demonstration. Uh, I will take another shot or shoot another video altogether when I get it installed in the, uh, in the actual roof line and ready to do... Uh, ready to do the automatic venting system. I'm really excited. You should be too. <laughs> hey, uh, if you like, if you know somebody who you think would like this or uh, be interested in this, please pass it along to them. Uh, it's hard to, uh, hard to push a channel along when uh, YouTube is demonetized me. So I'd appreciate your help in that way. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And if you like, don't forget to subscribe.